but the oppression of black people is over with. We blacks are today a free people, close quote. The response to that column among African Americans? I'm sure that, that uh, um, they will be apoplectic. And this is this, and thus prove my point. Um, because we, we un, you, you see all the damage done over the last 60 years with, uh, by focusing on our victimization and so forth. Well, rather than, rather than say, oh my goodness, we, we, in fact, it is over. Our oppression is over with. We really are free people. We scream to high heavens that steel is crazy, that uh, it's laughable. Uh, can't you see racism everywhere? White supremacy is just infused into the, literally the air of America. So that black people are, well, what is this, this longing for an identity, a black identity grounded in victimization is a longing for an excuse to not accept the challenge of freedom. It is a way to escape that challenge. Uh, Shelby, <clears throat> quotation here. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas in his 2003 opinion in Grutter versus Bollinger, a case that, against his wishes, permitted universities to continue affirmative action. But here's what Clarence Thomas wrote in his opinion. I believe blacks can achieve in every avenue of American life without meddling, close quote. You're with Clarence Thomas. Absolutely. Here's the question. Let me give you a pretty complete list of the prominent African Americans who are with you and Justice Thomas. It's Shelby Steele, and it's Clarence Thomas, and it's Tom Sowell, and I have two fingers left. I'm sure there are some that I'm not aware of. But where, there are some, yes. I'm, okay, so where are the other voices? Do you, do you, do you, are there some young voices coming up? Are, are you hopeful as you survey the scene? Um, yes, I am hopeful um, <clears throat> because, you know, I think attrition solves certain problems. Uh, how long can you, can you go on in delusion? Um, you know, how, it, it takes more and more labor. Uh, again, the NFL protest was, was important to me because it, there it was. This is so over with. This is so, ex so silly. That, and whites backed away from football. I mean, the viewership went down. The ticket sales went Shelby, down. Shelby, could I... I don't even know how to express this exactly, but I can tell you what a lot of my friends are, wait a minute, we just went through eight years of an African-American president, and every one of those young African-American men who's taking a knee is a millionaire. But you know what? Whites don't get to say, what the heck are you guys thinking? What mm -hmm. they do is they just turn off the channel. There's, right. some, there's something operating so that Everything that goes around comes around, to use a, 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 an overworn uh, cliche. I mean, it, and, one of the things I, and one of the things I think that I place some hope in um, is I, I look for whites, uh, it's what, what I call race fatigue, uh, that as, as we keep going down this path, whites are going to become more and more immune to it. Um, and I think the, foot, the NFL football protest was a good example of that. Whites have now said, we're not going to come out in public, but privately, we don't believe you anymore. We think you're a fraud. We don't think you're that oppressed. You know, we can't say anything because then you'll just call us racist and we'll, we'll pay another way. But we don't buy it. And you, I believe that America is going to see more and more whites turning away. Um, disbelieving. It doesn't mean that they're going to become racist. It means that they're not, they're, they're going to see the reality, which is that you, to blacks, you have not yet taken enough responsibility for the freedom that you enjoy. This is a hard thing. But I can tell you, if, if we got up tomorrow morning and white America said that in some symbolic way, everything would be changed.